हेलो वेलकम टू एस एस यूनिट टेक्स सोशल डिसाइड एंड दिस इज कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ जी सी पी टूटोरियल सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ वी कैन लोड द डेटा फ्रॉम जी सी एस टू बी क्यू सो जी सी एस स्टैंड फॉर गूगल क्लाउड स्टोरेज एंड बी क्यू फॉर बिग क्वेरी सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ वी कैन लोड द डेटा फ्रॉम जी सी एस लोकेशन टू बिग क्वेरी इन द लास्ट टू लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव सीन हाउ वी कैन क्रिएट द जी सी एस अकाउंट and in the last video we have seen how we can create the big query and after that how we can create the data set and under that how we can create the table so all those we have seen in the last two videos if you haven't watched those videos i would strongly recommend to go and watch that video let me quickly go inside the browser and we'll try to see in practical so first i am going to open the cloud shell and inside the cloud shell we'll see how we can write our python code for achieving our goal so here you can see the active cloud shell so we can click on this it will open a window and on this window your cloud shell will be opening so here we are inside the cloud shell and if you can click on this open terminal so it will also open the terminal or where we will be going to execute our code so let me click on this open editor again so here if you can see it is having sql server and after that we can add your folders and files so i am going to add a folder we can specify the name so i am going to call this as gcs to bq maybe with this name it is going to create a folder and under that folder i am going to create one file and the file i am again going to call this as gcs to bq what type of file it will be so i am going to create the python file so py extension should be there now here we have to write our code for achieving our output so first thing what we have to do we have to import few of the libraries so the first library i am going to import from your google cloud and inside the google cloud we are having two libraries that are important for us the first one which is the storage because we are going to read the data from your storage account and second is the bigquery because we are going to dump the data inside your bigquery now we are also required few of the libraries first is the panda library so i'll be going to show you where we are required to use this so i'm going to import the panda and one more library for io so i'm going to import the io library as well now the first thing what we have to do we have to create a storage client so inside the storage client we should be going to have the storage account that we have already created so it is important to create a storage client so let me quickly go here and for that first we have to specify your storage and after that we have to specify the client we can specify the bracket and this will be your storage client what we have done here we have created this storage client so we are making the connection with this storage client so it will go inside your bucket and outside the bucket it is going to create the connection next thing we should be go inside your bucket so what we have to do we have to use this storage client and after that we can specify the bucket and inside the bracket we have to specify like on which bucket we want to go so here as we want to go ssu001 so in this bucket we are going here let me going to call this as bucket maybe now we have jump inside your bucket and after that we should be going to have the blob so like here we are having like a raw and under that we have 2025 and if you can go inside 2025 then we should be able to see one of the file and that file will be containing the information for id and name only those two columns those 
we have created the table so the table is test and it is having total two columns in the last video we have already seen so the same csv file that we have with us and it is containing total two columns id and name with comma separated values so here we have made the connection with the bucket and after that we are required to go inside the blob so blob should be available inside the bucket so first we have to use this bucket and under that we have to specify the blob and on which blob we want to go so we have to specify the path so if we can go here under that we have a raw then 2025 and then this file name so we have to specify everything here so first is the raw folder under that we have 2025 then we have data dot csv so this is your blob once we have blob with us then we are going to re download this blob as test or the string maybe so we can specify download this blob as a string so we have this data with us then we are required to convert this data into your data frame so for that what we have to do we are required to use maybe panda library so here we are going to use the panda library for reading this csv file so this is your csv file and after that what csv we have so here we have this data as in csv but this data is downloaded as a string so first we have to convert this into io format so for that we have to specify the string of your io and then we have to specify your data and let me put this into a data frame that is df and if let me quickly go and try to print this df and let me execute this code so it should be going to read out the data from your file and displaying that data in front of us so for executing this code we have to go inside the terminal here the first thing we have to install our panda library so for that we can go and call this pip install and then we can specify panda so as i have already added this library in my machine so we can see requirement already satisfied but in your case if first time you are going to execute this it will be going to install the library and the second library which is required so we have to use the pip install of your pi arrow so these two libraries are important to install now if we wanna execute our code so what we have to do first we have to specify the python and after that we have to specify the path so path is gcs to bq folder and under that we have file what is the file gcs2 bq.py file let me try to click on enter on this so it will be going to execute your file so it is throwing an error like your string io is not defined why we are getting this error because i have not used this io dot here so i am going to use io dot now let me try to run this again so here again we are getting this error which is the type error it is saying initial value must be string or none so if you have remember our first column is id and which is having integer value on this scenario this string will not work so what we have to do we have to convert this into bytes so we have to use the bytes io instead of string io let me try to click on this open terminal and execute this cell again so this time this should be executed as we can see and the data frame is going to return the value as id and name this is the index and after that we have all these values so this index by default is coming while we are going to use the pandas let me quickly go 
on this code section and here I am going to dump this data inside your BigQuery. So what we have to do? So loading the data first we have to again create the client of your BigQuery. So let me call this like BQ client and here let me try to use the BigQuery dot client and after that here we have to specify the your project id so how we can get the project id we can click on this my first project and under that we can see this id so let me try to copy this id and let me paste it here so what it is doing it is creating a bigquery client now what next we have to do as we have already created the connection with your BigQuery then we should be going to specify the table so I am going to create a variable as table and inside that we have to specify your project ID the first thing then your data set ID and then your table name so the data set that is the SSU test and the table that is test so this is the table I am specifying explicitly here. I am going to load this BQ client that we have dot here we can see the option for load data from data frame. The first parameter should be your data frame and the second parameter that should be your table. And if we are having any configurations with us then the third parameter we can specify as job configuration. So that I am not going to specify here but in our upcoming videos we will see more detail on this. So let me print and say like data have been loaded successfully. Now if you can go on this terminal before going to execute let me quickly show you the data on this table so as of now we don't have any data let me run this query and this table should not be having any data and if I am going to execute this query once this query execution will be successfully done so we can see data have been loaded successfully if we can go on the table and query the data from here then we should be able to see total four records that we have already seen there so that we can see so we are having id and name and all the values have been loaded successfully here and if we can see this code so this is very straightforward we have only created the storage client and the bigquery client and after that we jump to the bucket and inside the blob then we have downloaded this blob as a string and then converting this into data frame by using the bytes io so why we have used bytes io because string io are expecting all the values as an string but here the first column is not the string so that's why we have used the bytes io and after that here we have created the client and then specifying the table and by using this load table from data frame directly we are going to load the data from the data frame to this table so thank you so much for watching this video See you in the next video.